What the hell? They named a bone after me, man. What the? Well, that's I'm taking my own bone. Hell yeah. Hey, what's going on, guys? Um, today's task is going to be our inspectors. So, um, they're going to be doing this in the place from smoke and kills or whatever. Uh, you guys should know where it is. Prayer potions, extremes, overloads, supers, titan. It is multi. Um, we're going to be doing it the better way for mage praying. Um, so we'll do it in dehyde and all that crap. And last but not least, the second Slayer Helm. A lot of people make a mistake on this Slayer task. Um, I already have a Steel Titan. Okay, whatever. Uh, a lot of people make a mistake on this Slayer task. You do need two Slayer Helms because once this one runs out of scrolls, uh, you put this one on and you put more scrolls in this. I think it's already full though. Yeah, this helm's already full. So that's one pretty big common mistake. Uh, second is a lot of people bring a Chaotic Longsword down here. Uh, I hardly think it's worth it because um, these Aber Inspectors are really weak anyways with when you use a Raper on them. Um, if you were to bring a CLS, you would hit most of it and it would make your cannon hit harder and all that crap. But the fact is that the Raper still destroys the uh, Longsword when you attack these monsters. So, I mean, I still think that Raper would be better. But, I mean, it's their choice. If you don't have a Raper and you have a Longsword, then bring that. It's better than anything else. Um... I'm not sure if, I think I'd bring a whip here instead of a chaotic maul if you guys have that. Uh, that's more for, uh, uh, fuck what are they called, water fiends. Um, so overload, go ahead, and you can AFK. Um, bring claws for special. You could bring spec restores, that's for sure. I just didn't really bother because kind of feeling like watching a movie right now and not paying attention. So this is basic. Uh, I have a herbist out of my inventory and I have it set to every single herb it cleans. I think you get uh, every herb it cleans, you get double the herb XP for cleaning. So I think dwarf would give you like 14 XP for cleaning, but normally, well, normally it gives you 14, but I think with this it'll give you 28. So it does give you quite a bit of XP overall. Um, this task can be profitable if you guys bring a uh, familiar like a war tortoise or a pack yak and you pick up all the herbs and seeds and whatnot. Um, other than that, it will probably cost you money. Sometimes you might get a lucky torsal drop and or maybe some snapdragons like I did and you will almost uh, break even from the cannonballs. And uh, effigy drop rates aren't that great but they do surprisingly drop some just out of nowhere. Uh, I think I've gotten two ones on the Slayer test actually. And they are good blue charm drops so that's really about it for today. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yes. A little while ago, uh, Addy Bolts um, introduced the X option to them, which fucked up a lot of people that like to gain a lot of fast XP. Um, so pretty much people don't fletch anymore when they do Slayer. Uh, I found a... Well, I didn't find anything, but... I know for sure that you can still fetch and slay at the same time without it affecting how much slayer XP you get now. It'll be exactly the same. So I'll show you guys a clip in a second. Um, it is a lot of uh, attention and effort to do it, but in case if you guys really want to gain a lot of XP in a day, you can do uh, this other method I'm about to show you. Um, I'm sure it's already probably even in a video. I'm not taking any credit for this idea, just, just showing it to you guys. Um, other than that, uh, a couple of you guys wanted me to open up my friends chat so I can go in there and just talk to people uh, that, that are slaying. Um, I might do that in the future, but right now, um, I just made like a clan, like an actual clan for uh, XP gain things. Like this clan stuff came up four months ago or some crap. So this is my current clan right now. Um, we're trying to get a bunch more people still to join. Well... Not random people though, but we're trying to take people that uh, gain all right experience. So if you guys do gain okay XP, then just uh, tell me or something. I might invite some of you guys. Um, besides that, I will be in here. I'm not always paying attention in here, but most of the time I will be. And yeah, if you guys want to come and talk in here about Slayer, then you, you're welcome to come. But if it gets too busy or if it gets too crowded and people start to spam, I'm just going to turn the option off. So you have to be a rank to talk in the clan. Um, 
I'm sure people, a bunch of people in here will answer your questions as well if you have about Slayer, because a lot of them are doing Slayer as well. So, yeah, if you guys want some tips or if you guys have a question, come in here. If I'm not paying attention, then I'm sure someone else will answer it. And if I am, I'll do my best. So, thanks for watching this video today, guys. Um, this Slayer task is around 60k XP an hour for sure. It's just amazing XP. Um, overloads do help you with... Um, they help your cannon uh, like with the range. Like uh, a lot of people don't know, but when your range is more than like it's 122 out of 99, it makes the cannon hit a lot more, a lot more accurate, and all that crap. So a lot of people didn't know that. So people that slay with extremes, uh, if you really want to be a little more efficient, you could bring an, a ranging potion or an extreme ranging potion, and it would always affect the uh, cannon a little bit too. I'm not sure exactly how much. I barely even believed this when I heard it. I was like, how does that work? But it does uh, do a little bit of a little bit more than it uh, should be, so it's a little bit of help. And that's about it, guys. So hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys later.